of you are back in today, Madden Ultimate Team 25 is here. It's glorious. Ah, true business review on the mutt scene now, boys. Just some support on the video. Like, subscribe, join the Madden Discord link below. Just some support on the Patreon. Oh man, 4 p.m. Eastern time. We start making coins on coins on coins. We got tons of stuff to talk about today. Today's video, though, is the best free players to get to start out Madden. Man, we're going to get a bunch of free team captains and people from College Football 25 Ultimate Alumni Challenges. We're going to talk about who to choose out of all of the free rewards. A lot of different choices. We're going to break that down today. First things first, we're going to have a lot of coin making methods all year. This is a bit of a little something to, to tease you off. You remember, there's a bit of a set. Sets are back in a big way in Madden 25. And we'll make some coins on that. So consider consider joining the Patreon. All right, first things first. But now we get to talk about what cards do we actually want to choose, man. The team captains, right? So basically, you're going to get in here. There's going to be a program or something. You're going to get some lower overall team captain players. And then you'll be able to upgrade these guys as you earn tokens when you play the game. But which one of these team captains do you want to take? You can see there's a couple of them. Well, I have a ranking in order of the best guys you want to be taking here. So, I mean, listen, the best team captain to use all of your upgrade tokens on is going to be Jeff Saturday. None of these guys are really worth it. And offensive line being a position you don't want to spend coins on, it's a good pick. In order, you know, in order to, you're not going to be wasting your, your, your tokens on Jason Wynn, 79 speed. You're an artifact, my guy. Troy Vincent, somebody you can't even pronounce. Now, this middle linebacker, maybe... Nah, but really, the best picks in order is going to be Jeff Saturday. Uh, you you don't want Tolbert. He is the worst choice right here. But there is a cornerback, Troy Vincent. He's a good position for depth, but he is slow with only 81 speed. Tell me he's going to get burnt. Jason Witten, again, uh, you know, position of value, but it's not really a good card at all. His stats kind of suck. Then we got the guy that we can't even pronounce. I mean, decent speed, but there's a lot better low-budget linebackers that are a lot faster. And then we got the fullback. You've got to be kidding me. No, thank you. Now, the next thing we're talking about is these guys here. Oh, man. Oh, man. So, the way... I mean, which one do we want to pick out of these things right here? It is This is true insanity. We got to talk about it and break it down. So, the best guy to pick... Out of the five season one players for tickets, you know, we got some some different uh, reward paths and whatnot. The best one to pick for the ticket reward path and stuff. Ready? Heinz Ward. This dude is six foot, 86 speed, and a, 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 a position you need depth. Wide receiver. You need three of them. This guy is a great pick as a BND. Next four picks in order. We got Crosby. Max Crosby, 84 speed pass rusher. 87 finesse moves and defensive ends are also a position where you don't want to spend a whole lot of coins so a good pick right here number three and i feel like a lot of people are probably gonna pick him is mccaffrey so he's an 86 speed running back which is very valuable but you already we're gonna we're gonna look at it in a second there's an 85 saquon as an option as a bnd and everyone who pre-ordered the game is already getting a mccaffrey so i think crosby and Ward are a bit more valuable uh, and then we got lewis let's take a look over here we got ray lewis huh Heads are about to be flying. 83 speed middle linebacker. Not terrible. Not great though. Uh, middle linebacker is a position where, you know, you don't want to spend a whole lot of coins as a BND. It's not bad. Then when the last guy, do not pick this guy, man. Another fullback. He's basically valued as a running back. And he's two speed less than McCaffrey. It's not a good pick. Going to have to pass on that one. So here's what you can see right here. We have the field pass ticket rewards. I'll leave that on the screen for a second there. And then we got the season one ticket offers. Wow. All right. Now we got to look at the 85 free. If you go into college football 25, I just did this. Go to challenges. Go to ultimate alumni. You literally just need 70 stars. It takes maybe 25 minutes and you'll get a free 85 overall card. Ultimate alumni champion BND, right? These three guys. Oh, man, they're insane. Now, the guy you're going to want to actually choose is going to be Josh Allen, man. Josh Allen, 82 speed with good finesse move, a solid card to build your lineup around. And the next choice that I would recommend is going to be Miles Garrett. Miles Garrett, 80 speed, but really good power move and a guy that always plays well no matter what. So that's another good option right here. 
there's not really a clear pick right here. It's more of what you need for your team. So you might you might not even open this pack until you have you know some some progress under your belt. See what you need. Then we got Saquon. I mean, he could totally be number one right here. But there's so many other B and D options at running back. It might not be the best value pick here, uh, but he definitely could be number one with 85 speed and at running back. This guy can make life fun for sure. Then we got the Hall of Fame player pack, guys. This is uh this is guys where you get them for pre-ordering. You pre-order you pre-order the game. And if you're playing today at 4 p.m. Eastern time, you pre-ordered, I think, right? Yeah, that's how it works. You get to choose between these guys, I believe. We got Julius Peppers, Dwight Freeney, and oh, man, oh, man. I think we know who we're picking right here, right? Uh, so it's pretty obvious. The clear and obvious pick is Devin Hester with 84 speed. Uh, there's no other pick with the other two not being amazing and receiver being a position of death where you need three of them. So go ahead and lock in Devin Hester. Uh, what is this guy right end going to pass? Julius Pepper's going to pass. You take Devin Hester for sure. And then the pick here for the pre-order again, you got D-Hop, 81 speed. Hamstring will be pulled as you're running down the line. And then you got the Honey Badger. The Honey Badger, he's a safety, decent height, 82 speed. It's a better pick than 81 speed, DeAndre Hopkins. And just like that, boys, that is the last that's, that's, the last, that's the last thing we got to talk about in terms of the free stuff to pick. Now, there are rumors that you can go on Madden Mobile and get a, a free 83 overall Michael Parsons. They'll transfer over. If you go on Madden Mobile and link your EA account and do the first solo challenge, you'll get an 83 Michael Parsons. Again, not confirmed, totally speculative, but people are saying it might transfer over, so it takes five seconds. It might be, might be worth a look. Again, I have no idea if that's true or not, but those are the guys that we know in Madden 25. It's going to be insane. We're going to make tons of coins again. Show some support on the video. I'm excited. Are you excited? Peace out. Thanks for watching.